Yo, what's up family? Welcome back to the channel. So Focus Marketing and Promotions, Tech and Lifestyle channel. I'm your host, Mr. I'm So Focused. Alright, so if you're new to the channel, you know, we do tech on this channel. We do, um, you know, electronics. I got the dogs on the channel, Cash and Karma. Uh, do a little bit of everything on this channel. I actually do everything on this channel. So whatever comes to my mind, that's what I do on this channel. It's a Tech and Lifestyle channel. It is what it is. You're going to get an all-in-one special over here. All right. So um, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like what you see. And if you don't, like I say all the time on this channel, just sit back and be entertained. All right. Hit that thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. Whatever it is, do all that. All right. So um, what I got today is this is what I feed my dogs. I feed them the High Pro Plus. Classic Victor dog food. All right. Everybody always asks me everywhere I go, you know, how I get my dog's skin so shiny, um, how many times a day I feed my dogs, all that. Answer to the question is, when they was younger, I fed them two times a day. Right now, they're 16 months. I'm only feeding them one time a day in the morning, and that's it. And I give them water throughout the day. That's it. That's all I do. All right, and I feed them this dog food right here. I just switched over to, I always been feeding them Victor, but I just switched to this bag. I used to give them the, um, I think it was the blue bag I used to give them before. And not the beef flavor, I think it was. Now I switched over to this, the Classic High Pro Plus for active dogs and puppies. 88% um, protein, 2% um, plants and veggies and 10% protein from um, grain sources. So this 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 video right here is going to be what I feed my dogs. You feed, whatever, you feed your dogs whatever you want to feed your dogs. Don't let nobody tell you what to feed your dogs. And again, I said this before on my channel before. No matter what you feed your dog, if you see somebody else's dog that's bulky, stocky, short to the floor, all muscled up, and your dog is not genetically inclined to look like that, I don't care what you feed your dog, your dog is not going to look like that. That's it. It's all in the genetics. If you go on and buy these dogs, I know this is like sacrilege to say for breeders or whatever, but whatever, I'm going to say it. If you go buy a dog and the guy has the mother, the father, the sister, the brother, the you know the grandfather there and the dog look crazy those the, the family dogs look crazy but he trying to sell you a pup and he's telling you that the puppy's gonna look like that ask him to see the paperwork even if he shows you the paperwork it's still no guarantee that your puppy's gonna look like that all right so just be mindful who y'all buying these dogs from because i don't care what you feed your dog it's not gonna look like you know those bulky, stocky, muscular dogs that um that you see on TV. It's just not going to happen. It's all in the genetics. And I know, you know, whatever, people are going to be like, you know, you're telling the, you know, the, the secrets for the bully game or whatever game, the pit bull game, whatever game you in. But listen, there's too many people out here getting jerked. That's just what's going on, you know? Your dog grow up to look crazy, you know, because it's not what, the mother or the father look like or you know god some guy sold you a dream or whatever so just make sure you you know you're feeding your dog the right stuff you're giving your dog the right stuff and also you're buying it from somebody that's reputable somebody that's um you know they got some dogs to show under their belt even if they got dogs to show under their belt it is what it is i will you know ah whatever Whatever, I'm going to say it. I wouldn't believe them. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Because you don't know what your dog is going to go up to look like. You have no idea what your dog is going to go up to look like. The only how you're going to really know what your dog is going to look like is when the dog grows up. That's it. Somebody could tell you something all day long, you know, but they don't really know. That's And that's the honest truth about it. But once your dog starts, you know, gets into your home, you can start feeding the quality dog food. And you can start, um, you know, doing, going along the grain of um, building a regimen for your dog to, you know, eat healthy, to look healthy. That's all you could do at that point. And then you just got to wait. You know what I'm saying? You just got to wait because this thing is all in the bloodline. 
You got to know what the mother looked like. You got to know what the father looked like. You got to know what the grandfather looked like. You got to know all of that. That's why it's important to get the paperwork and to do your research before you buy the dog. So you ask somebody if you're buying a dog, you know, let me see the paperwork. Once you see the paperwork, you start going down each individual, you know, the lineage of the dog. You see what the grandmother looked like. You see what the father looked like. You see what. Yo, what's up family? Welcome back to the channel. So Focused Marketing and Promotions, Tech and Lifestyle channel. I'm your host, Mr. I'm So Focused. All right, so if you're new to the channel, you know, we do tech on this channel. We do, um, you know, electronics. I got the dogs on the channel, Cash and Karma. Uh, do a little bit of everything on this channel. I actually do everything on this channel. So whatever comes to my mind, that's what I do on this channel. It's a Tech and Lifestyle channel. It is what it is. You're going to get an all-in-one special over here. All right? So, um, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like what you see. And if you don't, like I say all the time on this channel, just sit back and be entertained. All right? Hit that thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. Whatever it is, do all that. All right? So, um, what I got today is this is what I feed my dogs. I feed them the High Pro Plus classic victor dog food all right everybody always asks me everywhere i go you know how i get my dog's skin so shiny um how many times a day i feed my dogs all that answer to the question is when they was younger i fed them two times a day right now they're 16 months i'm only feeding them one time a day in the morning and that's it and i give them water throughout the day that's it that's all i do all right, and I feed them this dog food right here. I just switched over to, I always been feeding them Victor, but I just switched to this bag. I used to give them the, um, I think it was the blue bag I used to give them before, and now the beef flavor, I think it was. Now I switched over to this, the Classic High Pro Plus for active dogs and puppies, 88% um, protein, 2% um, plants and veggies, and 10% protein from um, grain sources. So this bet this this video right here is gonna be what I feed my dogs. You feed what you feed your dogs whatever you want to feed your dogs. Don't let nobody tell you what to feed your dogs. And again, I said this before on my channel before. No matter what you feed your dog, if you see somebody else's dog that's bulky, stocky, short to the floor, all muscled up. And your dog is not genetically inclined to look like that. I don't care what you feed your dog. Your dog is not going to look like that. That's it. It's all in the genetics. If you go in and buy these dogs, I know this is like sacrilege to say for breeders or whatever, but whatever, I'm going to say it. If you go buy a dog and the guy has the mother, the father, the sister, the brother, the, you know, the grandfather there and the dog look crazy. Those, the, the family dogs look crazy, but he trying to sell you a pup and he's telling you that the puppy's going to look like that. I ask him to see the paperwork. Even if he shows you the paperwork, it's still no guarantee that your puppy's going to look like that. All right. So just be mindful who y'all buying these dogs from, because I don't care what you feed your dog. It's not going to look like, you know. Those bulky, stocky, muscular dogs that um that you see on TV. It's just not going to happen. It's all in the genetics. And I know, you know, whatever, people are going to be like, you know, you're telling the, you know, the, the secrets for the bully game or whatever game, the pit bull game, whatever game you win. But listen, there's too many people out here getting jerked. That's just what's going on, you know? Your dog grow up to look crazy, you know, because it's not what, the mother or the father look like or you know god some guy sold you a dream or whatever so just make sure you you know you're feeding your dog the right stuff you're giving your dog the right stuff and also you're buying it from somebody that's reputable somebody that's um you know they got some dogs to show under their belt even if they got dogs to show under their belt it is what it is i will you know ah whatever Whatever, I'm going to say it. I wouldn't believe them. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Because you don't know what your dog is going to grow up to look like. You have no idea what your dog is going to grow up to look like. The only how you're going to really know what your dog is going to look like is when the dog grows up. That's it. Somebody could tell you something all day long, you know, but they don't really know. 
That's and that's the honest truth about it. But once your dog starts, you know, gets into your home, you can start feeding the quality dog food and you can start um, you know, doing going along the grain of um building a regimen for your dog to, you know, eat healthy, to look healthy. That's all you could do at that point. And then you just gotta wait. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta wait. Because this thing is all in the bloodline. You got to know what the mother looked like. You got to know what the father looked like. You got to know what the grandfather looked like. You got to know all of that. That's why it's important to get the paperwork and to do your research before you buy the dog. So you ask somebody if you're buying a dog, be like, let me see the paperwork. Once you see the paperwork, you start going down each individual, you know, the lineage of the dog. You see what the grandmother looked like. You see what the father looked like. You see what the mother looked like. Um... Dogs, just a little fun, just a little fact. Um, dogs take 63% of the mother genetics. The rest of it comes from the father. So just keep that in mind, you know? So whatever the mother's gonna look, the mother looks like, the dog is probably gonna take most of those genetics from the mother. All right? So y'all keep that in mind, man. There's a lot of people spending a lot of money out here on dogs. Don't get jerked, you know what I'm saying? Keep your dog, you know, buy for somebody reputable and just, you know, make it work. All right. Again, I'm going to reiterate this one more time. No matter what you feed your dog, I don't care what you feed your dog. Go to my channel. You see what Karma and Cash look like. I'm just telling you what I feed my dogs. And I'm telling you, if you if your dog is not genetically inclined to look, you know, like Cash, Karma, um, any of these dogs that you see, and I'm not saying my dogs look the best, but I'm just saying that, you know, I work hard for them to look like that. You know what I'm saying? And this is what I came up with. This not came up with, but this is like from my research and from from what me from what I do. And also it's genetics. The the mother, their father, I only their father definitely looked like that. You know what I'm saying? And you know, the guy I got them from, he said he did the same. He only feeds a dog once he only feeds his dog one time a day. And it's genetically for them to look like that. Cash looks like he eats four times a day. Karma looks like she eats all day. Well, vice versa. You know what I'm saying? But it's only one time a day in the morning. And just water, ice water, you know, throughout the day. And then that's it. So, all right. So, again, no matter what you feed your dog food, your dog, no matter what dog food you feed your dog, just know it's in the genetics. And this is what any reputable dog breeder would tell you if they're not trying to hustle you. That's it. All right. So let's get into this again. So this is Victor Super Premium Dog Food Classic High Pull Plus. I think this bag goes for like 58 to 60 dollars. So if you got a couple of dogs, you know, what I'm saying you probably be running through this stuff for like a month. Me, like I just told you earlier, only feed my dogs one time a day. I feed them a one cup of this, like a um, bigger cup. I don't have the cup in front of me, but if you go check some of my previous videos, you see the plastic cup that I scoop it out of, and I give them one shot of that a day. And I'm gonna mix, I mix some other stuff with that, and I'll show y'all that in a minute. But we're gonna go over this um, this Victor dog food. And we're going to see the ingredients. And I'm going to tell y'all some other stuff when you're looking for dog food for your, for your dogs. What to look for in the ingredients. All right. So let's go over the bag real quick. Like I said earlier, it's 80%, 88% protein from meat sources. 2% protein from plants and veggies. And then you got 10% protein from grain sources. Um, y'all see that right there. Made, made with our own unique V-Pro blend, an exclusive mix that promotes superior the digestibility and immune system functions. And then it has all of this stuff here. All right, mineral complexes, prebiotics, and probiotics. All right, so that's the bag. They got like um, a purple bag, a blue bag. Um, I think it's a pink bag and something, whatever. I usually get mine from either Chewy.com or Tractor Supply. A lot of, a lot like um, PetSmart and those kind of stores, they don't sell Victor. So if you're looking for Victor, I get mine from Tractor Supply or order it off of Chewy.com. All right. Always buy the big bag. Um, this bag size is uh, 40 to 40 pound bag. 
You know, Chewy.com, they'll, they'll send you this bag in about two days. All right? So there's nothing on the side of the bag. This one, it says for active, for active dogs and puppies. Now, this is what we really are um, trying to see right here on the bag. So you got the Victor Supreme, Super Premium Dog Food. So now when you're looking for dog food for your puppies or your dog or whatever, I, this is for uh, um, adult dogs. Um, other people like to feed their dog. Oh, let me show y'all real quick what like people like to feed their puppies. So if you got a puppy, this is the um, this is the dog food that people like to feed their puppies. It's called Diamond. So if you got a puppy, this is good to feed your puppy. You know, if you just got a puppy, brand new puppy that's about to start eating hard food, you feed them. This is what, you know, like I said, man, you do whatever you got to do with your dog, but this is what people usually um, feed their dog. Diamond puppy dog food. All right? That's just a quick snippet, but we're not talking about that right now. So back to the victim. All right, so now when you're looking for dog food for your for your for your dog it's always it's always good to go off of the first ingredient that's on the bag so you got you got this right here Let's see if i can get this focus for y'all so you got the um guaranteed analysis that's just giving you like pretty much what's in the bag the crude protein the crude fat you see that the moisture um, the omega-3, the omega-6, DHA, zinc, um, selenium, vitamin E, and the ca um, carotene. You can look all of that up for yourself and check that out. But um, this classic high pro plus, um, pause that and read it for yourself, but I'll just um, read it out. It says the, this nutrient-dense multi-protein formula provides high levels of quality protein to support the nutritional needs of growing puppies, pregnant and lactating females, and high-performing dogs. With scientifically advanced and nutritional complete ingredients, formula promotes sustained energy and healthy and immune and digestive systems. All right? So... That goes back to what I just said. You, the diamond that I just showed you, that's what, like, you know, a lot of breeders use. I would say 80% of breeders go to YouTube, go to anything. They're going to tell you, oh, I feed my, my new puppy diamond. Or I just read this right here, and it says that you could feed this to, you know, growing puppies, pregnant and lactated females, and high-performing dogs. All right? So, you know, do your research before you, you know, you know, go to YouTube, go to the, you know, Google, whatever, go wherever and just make sure you're feeding your dog what you need to be feeding your dog. Never follow what other people are doing. Do whatever you want to do for your dogs. Like, and that's just in general. Do, do your own thing. Don't never follow trends. Just do your research and then you give your dog whatever you want to give your dog. All right. So back to what I was saying with the ingredients. Always look for the first ingredient. And that's the main thing that's inside of the um, the dog food that you're giving your dog. The first ingredient is the first um, is the main thing that's inside the dog food. All right. So this one says it got um, beef meal. Um, if you see that right there, that's the first ingredient. All right. And then it goes to everything else: the grain, the chicken fat, whatever. All right. All right? I'm not saying this is the best dog food. I'm not saying this is the holy grail of dog food. I'm not saying this is the top-notch dog food. I'm saying this is what I feed my dogs. And this I only did this video because I just bought this bag of dog food. I was in the pet store the other day with Karma, and people was like, yo, what the hell you feed that dog? Yo, she look crazy. Her skin is shiny. Whatever, 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 whatever. So I say, you know what, let me put a video together and show, you know, when I'm feeding my dogs, all right? So right here, they give the recommended adult feeding guide for adult dogs. So you can pause that and read that for yourself. And then they say uh, feeding the puppies. You know, when you're feeding puppies, take, um, it says feeding puppies. Puppies will typically start nibbling, moisten dog food. 
from three to four weeks of age, feed as much as the puppy will eat in 20 minutes, in a full feeding interval, spaced throughout the day, maybe mixed with water, broth, and all, like I said, man, all of this is a guide. It's a guide. You don't have to follow it to the T. If your dog want, if you want to feed your puppy more, feed your puppy more. If you want to feed them less, you feed them less. If you want to free feed, which means you just leave the dog food out all day long and let the dog eat, that's on you. If you want to give them three separate meals, two separate meals, or one meal in my case, you do that. And then it got the pregnancy and nursing. Um, this is all trial and error. But what it says, pregnancy and nursing right here, says uh, energy requirements continually change during stages of gest gestation and lactation. and may require up to four times recommended levels of intake. A just amount of food provided to maintain good body condition for your female dog. Again, that's what I just said. You got to adjust. You know, don't keep... Don't go exactly by this because what's good for one dog might not be good for the next dog. So somebody could tell you all day, oh, I feed my dog this, I feed my dog that. That don't mean that your dog is going to wind up looking the same as that person's dog or it's going to take to what that person just told you. So that's, and that's just keeping it, that's just keeping it 100 with y'all. And then it says feeding tips down here, changing diet. When changing from a different food to any Victor dog food formula, transition your dog to Victor over the course of a week to 10 days, gradually increasing the amount of Victor every few days. Now that right there is a mostly general statement. If you decide after watching this video, or if you decide to, you know, you're going to go with Victor or you're going to go with, um, you know, another dog food or whatever it is, and you're feeding your dog one dog food, make sure you transition it gradually. Don't just one day feeding your dog pedigree and then tomorrow you jump to Victor. You're going to have a whole lot of shit on your hands, literally. Your dog is going to be everywhere and it's going to mess up their stomach, it's going to mess up their stool, and you're going to be doing a whole lot of cleanup. That's just the warning for that. All right? So, I, like I said, I feed my dogs one cup of this. And then I add one teaspoon of coconut oil. This is this is what keeps their skin shiny. Coconut oil. Now you can either melt this and pour and drizzle it over the top, or just get um get a teaspoon and just um just um scoop it in and put it right inside there. So this comes in like uh, you get this off of Amazon for like twenty dollars. This whole big thing. And you know, like this um, coconut oil is good for um, humans also. So it gives the same the same thing for dogs, and they love the taste of it. So I scoop one one um, teaspoon of this in their dog food in the morning when I give it to them, and they eat the whole thing up. When they're puppies, you can melt it a little bit in the microwave, don't get it too hot, and just drizzle it over their food. They love the taste, and it keeps their coat super shiny clean and all of that and another thing that i usually drizzle over the top for the puppies really i usually mainly when they're young but this is like a treat for dogs it's called dime so now what this is this is like candy for dogs this is like you know a toddler going to the candy store and getting a whole bunch of candy so you don't really want to give too much of this to um your adult dogs because this is like candy, like I said. It gets them hyper or it might, you know, make them fat or whatever. You just don't, If you're going to give this to them, an adult dog, just drizzle it over the top slightly. Don't douse the food with it, you know, and make it all like a soup or whatever. Nah. Puppies, yeah, when they first start eating, like, you know, transitioning over to hard food or whatever, you might want to drizzle this over the top or something that they call mush. You know, I, 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 I haven't done mush, but... Look it up on YouTube. It's called Mush. This is what people usually give um, um, puppies that's transitioning from the mom off the, the weaning process. They're transi transitioning from mom to hard food, but they don't have teeth yet. So they have to eat this thing called Mush, which is like pretty much grinded up hard food, drizzled over with some Dine, and people usually add like other, you know, ingredients in it. But again, with the Dine, you don't want to be giving your um, your grown dog too much of this. For real, this is it's good, but it's your grown dog 
doesn't need a lot of this. It's just my personal opinion, you know? And um, they give you some, you know, some facts here. If y'all can see that. You know, they tell you how to use it. Um, the I usually just drizzle it over the top, but they give you, um, you know, the directions or whatever. I've never read the directions on this thing ever. So I couldn't even tell you how to, how, what, what they, what are they suggesting? But it says, you know, it's a Dine high calorie liquid, high calorie li liquid nutritional supplement for dogs and puppies, four weeks and older. It has, uh, that thing would um, zoom. It has um, added vitamins. And damn, I don't see directions on here. Oh, it says um, shake well. It says three, what does it say? Uh, three teaspoons or one tablespoon or whatever it is. Wean puppies and adult dogs feed amount twice daily. That's what it says for the adult dogs. But. I don't give my dogs this all the time. All right. So that's just like if they not really eating the food and you want to give them something sweet. And then you don't just want to drizzle it over the top with the with the adult dogs. If you drizzle it over the top, it's fine. But like with the puppies, if you're going to give them that, you want to um, you want to put it in the food and then stir it up. Because if not, like I just said. You got to treat them like kids because it's like like toddlers, I should say, because it's um, sweet. So what they'll do, they'll just lick the top off of it, you know, the top off the food, and then they won't eat the rest of the food. But if you stir it in all together along with coconut oil a little bit, well, not with the puppy. I want to give the coconut oil to the puppies yet, but, you know, regular food with the dime. You stir it all up, and then the puppies will eat it because they're really looking for the dime because they like the sweetness of it, and then they're just going to eat the regular food throughout, you know, while they're eating. All right? So I ain't going to hold y'all for too long. I'm just, you know, letting y'all know what I feed my dogs. This is the Victor High Pole Plus. Check it out. Again, do what works for you, man. That's just life in general. Don't let nobody tell you what to do before you get into all of this. Do your research, feed your dogs whatever you want to feed your dogs, do whatever you want to do with your dogs, just make sure your dogs are healthy and happy, take care of your dogs, man, it's an investment, it's going to work out for you in the long run, alright, like I say at the end of every video, man, three things in life y'all got to remember, trust God, love family, and stay focused, until the next video, stay focused, y'all.